Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with our next AutoCAD video. Now for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to construct an ellipse using the concentric circles method. Alright, so this is AutoCAD and as you know in AutoCAD, if you want to draw an ellipse, we can simply just click on ellipse here and we can draw an ellipse simply by doing that and doing that and drawing an ellipse. But if you're in an exam situation, and you're supposed to construct an exam or a test or something like that and you're supposed to construct an ellipse um, using a certain method and not necessarily just uh, getting an ellipse from AutoCAD if you have to construct it then there are different methods that you can use to construct your ellipse and for today's video we're going to look at constructing the ellipse using the concentric circles method all right now for this ellipse we're going to be using a minor axis of 70 millimeters and a major axis of 120 millimeters. All right. So as you know, the ellipse is shaped like an egg. So the major axis is the longer part of the ellipse, while the minor axis is the shorter part. Hence the terms major and minor. All right. So let's get into that. So first thing we're going to do is to draw two circles and the term concentric circles mean that the, the circles share the same center. So we're going to draw two circles. All right. So we're going to draw the large one first. So since the major axis would be 120, the diameter of this circle is going to be 120. So the radius would be 60. So I'm going to type 60, enter. All right. Then I'm going to select the next circle. I'm going to come in here at the same center. And since the minor axis would be 70, half of that 70 would be 35. So I'm going to type 35 and press enter. All right. So now I have my two circles. So now I'm going to draw a line through this. Vertically and horizontally. All right. and we're, so this line here is my major axis, while this one is my minor axis. Alright, so now I am going to divide this into i'm going to divide the circles into 12 and to do that i'm going to select the array tool so i'm going to type array and it says select objects i'm going to click on these two lines when i type array when you type array ensure that you click on polar array all right so when i type array i click on polar array and then i select these two lines here all right and then i press enter so then it says specify center point of array. The center point would be here. And just like that, it divides my circle into 12 equal parts. All right, good. So once this is done, the next thing I'm going to do is this. And this is a very, this is a very, very simple method. All right, so I'm going to draw some lines. Let me just give these lines a different color. Let's use a dark grayish color. All right, so from these points here, all of these points we're going to bring lines down vertically all right so from each of these points on the large circle where these lines where the dividing lines meet the large circle from here we're going to bring lines down then where the dividing lines meet the small circle we're going to bring lines across horizontally all right like that so just ensure that in object snap click on the drop down arrow ensure that you have perpendicular turned on all right so the same thing again from here i'm going to bring this line down vertically then from here i'm going to bring this across horizontally all right and we're going to do the same thing over this side over here from this point bring this line down vertically then from here bring this line across horizontally same thing here bring this down and bring this across not to the midpoint to the perpendicular point right there yeah all right so that's half of the ellipse done so now to get the lower half we're going to kind of switch up what we did up here so down here now these lines from these points we're going to bring these lines up this time so bring these lines up vertically and then bring these lines across horizontally all right so bring these lines up then these lines come across 
then from this point we we'll do the same thing up from the large circle across from the small circle again up from the large circle across from the small circle now we're basically finished all we have to do from here is to draw the actual ellipse so let me just choose a different color for that let me choose a bright green color all right so for doing this i'm going to type spleen s p l i n e and i'm going to click on this point here so this point here where this center line meets the smaller circle this is our first point and then our second point now would be right here this point right here where these two lines meet so this point right here all right then our next point is where these two lines meet where this line meets this line so right here and then our next point is right at the end over here then we come down to where these two lines meet where that line meets this line here right at this point and then the same thing over here where this line meets this line right here then our next point now is the end right here of the small circle where the center line meets the small circle down here at this quadrant so click there then our next point now is where this line meets this line so right here okay. and then where this line meets this line right at this point here then right here and then where this line meets this line right at this point here then where this line meets this line here this is our next point right here and then we finish off right here all right so then we just press um space bar all right and here we have our ellipse and that is how you construct an ellipse using the concentric circles method i hope you found this video helpful if you did please drop a like and subscribe for more technical drawing and autocad content do have a wonderful day